This video is an update to the situation in Colombia at the Hidrotuango Dam. This is the number one story on Colombia reports right now. Further inspections have revealed up to 30 different leaks and it is looking very likely that this dam is not going to hold. It's just a matter of time now, it's going to depend on the rain, but also understand as long as that dam is in place, more and more and more water is backing up behind it. Regardless of the discharge chutes, the water level behind that dam is still rising. It's still backing up more and more pressure. In this article they talk about this. Some 30 leaks have reportedly been found could erode the structure and cause a partial or entire collapse. The ongoing diversion of water through the engine room could also severely weaken the dam and the mountain supporting the project. You see, that's the problem. What they had to do is run that water through the area where the turbines were going to be without the turbines there and controlling the water. And it's eroding the mountain this dam is leaning on. And this is what's caused a lot of the quakes and a lot of the tremors. There really will be no fixing this dam. It's not really going to be a matter of if there's a flood, but when there's a flood and how bad it's going to be and how well they're prepared for it. The initial flood, IDAM said, and we're going to actually watch a simulation later here in the video, um, could reach a height of almost 30 meters at Puerto Antico Antioquia and 18 meters by the time it reaches the towns of Caceres and Terraza. The sheer force of the water and flow of debris could destroy the lower parts of the towns entirely. In total, some 18 municipalities would be hit by floods as the water finds its way through the Calca River Valley to the wetlands near the Caribbean Sea. Now, to give you an idea of how far and how big this is, I brought up Google Earth here, and I know this is a very unfamiliar territory. I'll try to walk you through where everything is just to give you an idea. Now. If you go to Google Earth and you find Medellin, Colombia, that shouldn't be too hard. You'll see this kind of uh, lightened area right here. If you just follow this up to the very where it seems to end and you zoom in, you'll see this word Etwango pop up. Okay. Now just follow this line over here to the end where this road ends and you'll see this 90 degree curve. This is where the dam is. Okay, it actually is right before, if you keep zooming in, you'll see where this other tiny little river diverts here. Well, the dam is right before that. So this is where the water's backing up behind here. And these are the places that are at risk down here. This is downstream from the dam. So as we zoom out, we'll keep an eye on that. But the simulation, to give you an idea of how much water and how much force that they have... Uh, talked about doesn't even begin until you come up here. This is Terraza, what they were talking about, up here, in Puerto Anti Antioquia. That's how far away that they were talking about the wave being that high. And this is, I don't know if I can measure distance, I can't really measure distance on this map. But trust me, this is a long, long, which is many, 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 many miles away as this comes through here. And it'll destroy Valdivia. This highway, 25, you can kiss it goodbye. It's one of the major, major highways that goes north-south through Colombia. It'll destroy this region. It'll tear through here. And here's where it kind of flattens out. It's not as mountainous. And this is Caucasia actually have, let's see if I can find it, okay this is a video that talks about this inundation. We're gonna back it up to where it starts here and I've got it set at like a quarter speed to give you an idea of what they're looking at. Because when it all flattens out that water is gonna go in every direction and show you the amount of area that would be destroyed. So this was a news report, what you're seeing is just graphics from that. But this is not going away, in fact it's getting much, much worse.
and these are actual pictures from um, the company that made the dam actually put out a scenario of the overtopping of the dam and what it would look like and let me see if I can find that if that's in another page one second yep it's actually blue radio and it shows one second some of these uh, South American websites take a minute to load but this is actually a radio station that has its own website here we go Let's see if we can go full screen try to zoom in here like I said we're talking a picture of a picture of a picture here so that's actually the blur that you're seeing isn't my camera it's actually on the screen there but it shows a uh, the overtopping and eventual collapse of what it would look like we'll play that again one more time Like I said, this is the uh, this is the company. I don't know if you can see the logo up here. EPM. This is the company that's built the dam, and this is their simulation. So, when the company that builds the dam is making simulations of its collapse, you probably should be worried. Let's see if we can go back here while that's loading. I just wanted to keep you guys updated. Um, this is uh, Puerto Valdivia right here to show you how high the water is. And what would it, where the, here's the, uh, I don't know if you can kind of see it, the lighter blue is the actual river the way it's supposed to be. This darker blue is where it would be in a flood. So you can see this entire right here, this is the entire town underwater. Here's another entire town underwater bridge completely destroyed a whole town underwater and as soon as Google Earth pops up I will uh, see if we can zoom in there and show you where that is there we go alrighty thank you for your patience folks I really appreciate it here we go. Puerto Valdivia. As it looks now. Okay. All of this the hospital, all this stuff that you're seeing, all would all be gone. Completely destroyed. See, some of these towns aren't just little fishing communities. There's actual buildings and structures and roads and let's go back to that picture. What you were looking at there, this is how bad it would be. All this would be underwater. An entire town just washed away. See, that's a little better zoom angle there, I guess. It's amazing that uh, this was all just to save a few bucks. All just to uh, put a few extra zeros on the end of somebody's paycheck. And now it's going to cause one of the greatest natural disasters in the history of South America. And like I said, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. The company that is making the dam is already making plans for it to collapse.
do this one more time just so people can see the difference in what it would look like. The whole area would be completely gone. Valdivia, I think, is only a couple hours. Once that collapses, that's about all the longer it'll take to completely destroy this entire community. Here's that little river coming into the side. That bridge will be gone. This will basically cut a huge part of Columbia in two. I wonder if we can 3D this. There you go. That actually will give you a real good idea of how deep that water will be. Just rushing through this valley, taking everything out. So pray for these people. We'll keep you updated. Like, share, subscribe.